Set time, and I know I'll proclaim. This is my season. There is nothing that the devil can do about it. Oh, ready to win. My time has come. I'm a champion. Christ did it all for me in victory. Battles won. A time has come. This is my season. There is nothing that the devil can do about it. Oh, ready to win. My time has come. I'm a champion. Christ did it all for me in victory. Battles won. My time has come. This is my season. Nothing that the devil can do about it. Oh, ready to win. My time has come. I'm a champion. Christ did it all for me in victory. Battles won. My time has come. We are destined to win. We are life. For 31 years. 31 years. This is the first time. 31 years. She's working. 31 years. Amen. Believing God for a baby. Life. Yes. For 31 years. 31 years. This is the first time. 31 years. She's working. 31 years. Amen. Believing God for a baby. Two babies, not just one. God is, he was blind. He Well, my name is Goodness Alibo from Abuja. I want to say a very big thank you for using this platform, Wonders That Number, to win, to win souls for God, to bless us, to make us pray in the morning. It has been difficult for me to pray, but now I can wake up 5 o'clock and pray. I can wake up at night to pray. I can now study my Bible. Sometimes when I'm sick, I'll lay my hands there and I'll command it with the God of Apostle John C. Suleiman to pray you go I cannot do many things that I can't do before I really want to say a very big thank you to you Papa the word has motivated me sometimes when I'm discouraged remembering the things the words you have said to us I just feel motivated and stand up again. I want to say a very big thank you to you, Papa. God will bless you. God will replenish you. God will give you the strength, the grace to move further and further. Thank you, Jesus. My time has come. My name is Roland Agbo from Cameroon. Uh, Join this Wonders Without Numbers in August 2021. I first of all want to as a lot of forgiveness because this testimony is long overdue. A few months ago when the studio project was launched, I dropped a seat and I keyed that seat to my child's trip to Canada. After a while, we dropped an application for a visa. The visa was granted. And as I speak now, he's in Canada, he's doing fine. I want to give thanks to the Lord for what he's doing in our life. To him be all the glory. My time has come. My name is Evangelist Chris Chukudi from UAE. I'm an Omega child. This is my second time of testifying the goodness of the Lord in my life. It was on July 2021. 20, I had a, an eye attack. I went to the hospital. They diagnosed the glaucoma and other things. Uh, but I continue to take the drugs. Um, Actually, doctor can give you drugs to take, but it's God that heal it. 
so I continue to take the blog, but on December 30th, 2021, I decree on this platform, oh Lord, that I am here. I will know I will no more take those drugs and I stopped it, Papa. Until now, that effect has never returned in the name of Jesus, and it will never it has gone forever and ever. There's something that happened last week. I, I sent a, a prayer uh, request concerning my brother. I sent to uh, Cyprus. He went for interview for job, but he has not gotten the job. Papa, behold, this week he called me that that job has finally been given to him. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. On 8th day of April 2022, as we are right here on Wonders Without Numbers uh, prayer, you made a declaration. You made a prophetic declaration that there's someone that kneecap, that God is giving a new kneecap. Papa, behold, immediately you made that point, that statement. My kneecap, my left kneecap made a, a very powerful sound. Ka -ka 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 -ka. And the, the, the pain that has been there for over 15 years that I had accident disappeared immediately. I, I can't feel it anymore. <laughs> I was touching it uh, even this uh, by this time, but there was no trace of any pain anymore. My names are Egogo Osuma Odion. I live in part of the Europe, Spain, Barcelona region. I want to use this opportunity to thank God for what God is doing through the platform of Wonders with Number. By the grace of God, almost all my prayers request that I have written to Wonders with Number platform, God has answered it. I've been a follower of Wonders with Number since last year, April. From that April till now, God has answered almost all my prayer requests. I ask God, I, I solicit for nationality in Europe here. Me and my family, God has granted it in the platter of gold. God has given me miracle money. There was a time I was in an apartment. Before I know, they asked me to leave the apartment. And the owner of the apartment came and gave me 4,000 euros. They say, Mr. Matt, take and leave this apartment, you know. So I was even there for years without even paying a dime. So they were not even begging me to leave free. They just give it to me. So how many can I say? The God was wondering how nobody is really working. I was hoping to take my younger one to Europe for, to, for his master's because he reached civil engineering. So he needed to go to UK for his master's. It cost almost about 15,000 pounds. God did it for me. As I'm speaking now, he's in UK doing his master's. Even my junior sister that is hoping to get married because it was a concern to me. As I'm talking now, by April this year, 2022, we are going back to Nigeria to celebrate the wedding. So I just want to use this opportunity to thank God for this platform, for millions of people that this platform is affecting and part of it. Is it miracle money? Is it deliverance? Is it everything to documents, documentations? One time, I, even my daughter's uh, letter that they wrote in his nationality got missing. I prayed. Before you know, the, t the case turned. As I'm telling you now, my daughter has his own national passport, nationality passport. I have, my children have. So what more can I say? I want to tell God thank you for all the requests, for what God is doing in the life of Papa and the ministry and the platform of Wonders with our number. My name is Tommy Emmanuel. I'm from Ghana. First and foremost, us, Wonders with our number began. And we had our team as Hand of God. There was a route that I could use three hours to journey to my destination. It rained heavily and the place got flooded. I came and I was surprised. To get back all over again, I will use six hours to get back home. And I said to myself, my poor, I will finish on the road. I then said to myself, I cannot be a wonder without number family and have a fuel shortage. As I was journeying, I prayed and lo and behold, angels deposited fuel into my machine. Angels deposited fuel into my machine, as you can see. My machine is 13 years old. 
My machine is 13 years old. I live got it already. My time has come. My time has come. Life! For 31 years. 31 years. This is the first 31 years. She's working 31 years. Damien, believing God for a baby. Two babies, not just one. That's what it is. He was blind. He For 31 years! 31 years! This is the first 31 years! She's working 31 years! Damien, believing God for a baby! Two babies, not just one! That's what what it is. He was blind! He My name is Maureen. I'm from Cameroon, but I reside here in the UAE. I have these testimonies. I'm so sorry for sharing the testimonies now. In January, Papa was praying. Papa was uh, preaching. Then he said he is seeing one lady with COVID. Those days also, I went in for the coronavirus test, and I was tested positive. But when I got up that same morning, I'm watching Wonders Without Number. And then I came to that testimony. The following day, my company asked us to go and do a coronavirus test. Behold, I was so shocked. When the t test came out, I was tested negative. And then also, I want to give God the glory for a salary increment in my job site. And also my prayer life has increased since I started following Papa. I want to give God all the glory. This is Bungo, located on Monday the 18th. Near Bungo. You see, there's an infection in the womb. I am Maria Bungo from Sierra Leone. UFM branch, Sierra Leone, free top. Papa, since I got birth, 2021, August 28th, CS, until now, I have not seen my period. But since you located me that day, Papa, the substance that came out of me, it was very big. And I thank God, I know I have been ill. My name is Leika Abiri. And I'm actually from Alchi at the, at the same time with um, our person. Um, but I'm currently based in um, Benin State for my youth service. I just want to appreciate God for His goodness and for His um, awesome works in my life. I came across this platform and I honestly didn't want to join because I um, just, I'm not really a fan of all these like prayers and everything. I just prefer to pray by myself or pray in church. You know my church and and all that but i kept having this strong living to be a part of the um prayers and i kept coming and it got to a point where i felt discouraged like mm, are you sure this is for me let me just do another pray, pray by myself and all and then i had a dream in the dream i have this like um issue with my right foot my right and um, big toe it's kind of bent and that's due to maybe tight shoes and the rest and in the dream apostle was anointing the foot so when i had that dream i just saw it as a confirmation that i shouldn't um leave the prayers i kept joining and god did a miracle so apostle always used to say receive um miracle money and the rest and i just used to say amen and he'll say receive the prayers where you work and i'll also say amen so besides my nyc office i, also, I have another work i do content editor i manage uh, an organization's youtube channel so i just kept seeing it in my mind that ah, these people should increase my salary and i was saying that ah, maybe in june middle of the month i'm going to ask for an increase in my salary because i felt like i just started this job in december so it was too early to ask for um 
um, a raise. But as God will have it, March, March 4th, the day before my birthday, my boss called me and she was like, I'm so impressed with your work. When are you finishing your NYC? And I said, I'm finishing April. And she said, they are going to increase your pay. And they increased my pay, like what they're paying me, they increased my pay by like a lot. And I'm just so grateful to God and so thankful um, to be a part of the prayers. My spiritual life has improved. I read the word more. I pray more. I'm more in tune with the spirit. And it's just a very awesome um, platform to be a part of. Also, I'm appreciating God for the successful release of my first book, although it's just an e-copy for now, but I'm grateful to God for everything and I'm trusting God also for the funds to print out the book so that it's available in, in bookshops. It's a devotional and I'm just grateful to God because the reviews so far have been amazing. Thank you so much, sir. God bless you. Life! For 31 years, 31 years. This is the first time. 31 years. She's working. 31 years. Amen. Believing God for a baby. Two babies, not just one. That's what God is. He was blind. Yeah. For 31 years. 31 years. This is the first time. 31 years. She's working. 31 years. Amen. Believing God for a baby. Two babies, not just one. That's what God is. is. He was blind. Yeah. My name is Joy. I live here in Germany. Early this year, Papa said there is somebody that hold passport. May God grant you your heart desire. I've been using this since 2019. Then take my insurance card. I've not been using insurance card since 2019. And since that day that Papa made that declaration, the lawyer called us and said they have already granted us. And my second testimony, they called me to come and look, check apartment. And my daughter was still in school. I called her when she closed. She had to wait for me at home. And when she could not open the door, she go to one euro shop. Yeah. And they take her phone. They call the police there for her. They call me to come. When I get there, I just went outside and begin to pray. I say, God of wonder without number. I say, have your way. So the police had then released the girl and they said they will send us letter. We wait for many days, many weeks, and they bring letter. The letter they asked me if I need any help that I should call the number if I need any help, I should call the number there. This is Jamie. It's not it's not like that in Jamie. They have to call people to come your home, to come and observe everything, to come and ask your children questions. But my case was not like that. They all bring a letter for me. If I need anybody, I should if I need any help, I should call them. I just want to thank God indeed my time has come. My name is Favor Gifty Bow from Liberia, but we said in Iraq I just want to testify to the almighty God for life preservation from the one I start to listen to your message it touched me a lot I take in every advice that you give that today I can sit down to listen to message to listen to you preaching when somebody even calling me say I'm getting first for the person what they have to call me when my father is online. Wonders with our normal has been a blessing from day one. From day one I start wonders with our normal has been a blessing to me and you have changed my life completely. What is too adequate to express but indeed my time has come. My name is David Bangura I live from Ghana, Great Guinea. Very close of Sorello. The testimony to go like this. I praise God. Thank God for His grace, for His kindness, for increase of life in prayer life, for being a carrier of His presence and life. For be bold, righteous, and submitted. Yeah. Thank God for the message of wonder without number. 
days ago at least one message on a family deliverance family deliverance that message needs to bless me family deliverance that message is to bless me life abundantly I thank God for our dear God, the servant of God. That God bless you more and more. God cut you for increase, more decrease my life. Thank God for my family, for what God did in my life. I thank God for the work of miracle in my life. For the miracle work of God in my life. Thank God for my family, my life, my people, my wife. Thank God for my job. Thank God for that. Thank God for everything. My prayer life increase. My life so full of joy and passion about God, hunger about God, energy for God, more effort and concentrating on prayer, a committed worshiper, the little ministry of Gena Konakri now, and force a big backslide. I'm not able for attend, but now through wonder without number, may see the word the listing. I'll be attending at, at the ministry now continuously, committedly, trusted. I thank God for wonder without number. My name is Benta Taylor from New Jersey, USA. I just want to say thank you to Papa for opening this group. Prayers without number, indeed, has changed my life. It has changed my life tremendously. My prayer life has been more and more blessed. I look forward to join the service every 12 midnight to 1 a.m. I look forward to it, even if I'm tired. Papa, I want to say thank you to you. And miracle money is real. If you have faith and you believe God, sometimes things happen, you wonder how it happened. And then I said, oh, miracle money. So an opportunity comes. You request for something that you think you may not get. And they will grant you that. Papa, last two weeks, Papa said, I know I'm blessing some people with a car. Some people will have some car. And indeed, I will be a testimony to that. I'll testify to that. I just went and go online. Request that I, I want a new car. I want to upgrade my life a little bit. And indeed, wonders without number, the God of wonders without number grants me that. Car that I did not expect that I will get, my God grants me that. Right as you're speaking, I have a brand new car that I'm driving. And I thank God for wonders without number every day that I joined this family. I joined this family in November of 2021. Since I joined wonders without number, my life had not been the same. I was sick when I joined it. I continued to pray every day. Papa said, touch where you need healing and, and faith. And believe that it will happen you will get healed and indeed i am getting healed i thank god papa every day for your life i thank god for your family as for job opportunity that you pray every day for blessing for money promotion and everything papa the god of wonders without numbers have done it for me i can't even imagine the promotion some of it i turn it down because i know my time has come. Life! Changed, 
battles won I've got the victory you overcame This is my set time and I know I'll proclaim This is my season There is nothing that the devil can do about it Oh, ready to win My time has come I'm a champion Christ did it all for me in victory Battles won, a time has come This is my season There is nothing that the devil can do about it oh, Ready to win, my time has come I'm a champion Christ did it all for me in victory Battles won, a time has come This is my season There is nothing that the devil can do about it Oh, ready to win, my time has come I'm a champion Christ did it all for me in victory Battles won, a time has come We are destined to win We are highly favored We are miracles, my time has come We are destined to win We are highly favored
nothing that the devil can do about it. Oh, ready to win. My time has come. I'm a champion. Christ did it all for me in victory. Battles won. My time has come. We are destined to win. We are highly favored. number my time has come yeah, man. we are so excited today because we began made edition of wonders without number and this month is going to be very very brutal yeah, yeah, man. not only brutal it's going to be very colossal yeah, yeah, man. it's going to be very volatile yeah, yeah, man. because we are going to be praying judgmental prayers and also destiny molding prayers destiny molding prayers your life is not in the hand of god I'm, I'm sorry to disappoint you. Neither is your life in the hand of an enemy. In Judges chapter 12, verse 3, I like what, what Jephthah said. Jephthah said, When I saw that none of you were willing to help, I saw that you delivered me to the enemy. I took my life in my hands. Your life is in your hand. You prepare for your tomorrow today. And you do that on the premise and the platform of prayer. Anything that makes you avoid prayer has made you avoid uh, destiny. Anything that, made you, that makes you avoid prayer has made you avoid greatness. Anytime you become too weak to pray, you lose something. So, we're going to pray today. And don't forget the theme of the month is, this nonsense must stop. Yeah, man. This nonsense must stop. Yeah, man. Man. Sickness is nonsense. Affliction is nonsense. Battles of life is nonsense. You got to stop them. Stop them. Amen. Stop them. Amen. That's why we are praying. That's why we are praying. It's nothing for God. Asa, King Asa, prayed a prayer. When the multitude rose up against him, he looked at his men. They were minimal in number. He looked at the multitude that has come up against him. He saw their size. And he prayed a prayer in Second Chronicles 14, 11. He said, Lord, it is nothing we did to help. It won't take anything from you to help us. There is nothing, it is nothing we did to help. Either with small or with great. But this multitude that have come against us, there are so many. It is nothing we did to help. Please, Lord, we rest on you. It is nothing with God to change your story. 
is nothing with God to transform your life. Amen. Is nothing with God to give you a turnaround. Amen. Amen. Is nothing with God to give you a lifting. Amen. Is nothing with God to give you emancipation. Amen. To make you break out of that family structure. Amen. Whatever is a battle on your life, whatever is a mountain before you, on this platform today, it shall be rolled away. Amen. It shall be rolled away. Amen. It shall be rolled away. Amen. And like what the Bible says in Matthew chapter 28, the Bible says the stone was rolled away and the angel sat on it. The stone was rolled away and the angel sat on it. Why? To prevent the stone from rolling back. The stone was rolled away. The angel sat on it to prevent the stone from hitting someone or from the stone from making anyone a casualty of the stone. He arrested it. God does not only bring emancipation, bring out of emancip give you emancipation, bring you out of trouble. He arrests the trouble. He puts it in check by the power of the Holy Ghost. Anything that has arrested you today, we arrest it. Yeah. Yeah. Today we arrest the arrester. Amen. Amen. We stop that thing that has stopped you. Amen. We terrorize your terror. Amen. We pursue your pursuer. Amen. If your amen is louder, you are the one I'm talking to. Amen. If your amen is louder, you are the one I just spoke to. Amen. If your amen is louder, you are the one I just spoke to. Amen. Right now, touch the like button and share on. Share right now. Share. I told you minimal share to share of 50 people maximum to 100 to 150 share share on, on facebook on all the platform you're on share it on youtube touch the like button drop the link all your content that's how to let people know you love them satan is in a hurry do you know satan is aggressive he's not negotiative he's not negotiating so stop trying to negotiate drop the link let people pray all your contact is just start dropping the link because the devil is very, very invasive. That's why, as it were, it appears that wickedness is on the increase. Because Satan is very invasive. So right now, drop the link and let people begin to pray. Drop it on all your platform. It's time to pray. For if there's a man to pray, there's there's a God God to pray. Awesome. Wonders Without Number is an online prayer platform where people are groomed in the act of praying and falling in love with God. Being addicted to scriptures. Being addicted to the word of the Lord. Ecclesiastes 8 verse 4 says, We are the word of a king. Is there is power and none can say, What doest thou? The power in the word of God. Colossians 3 16. Let the word of God dwell richly in you with all wisdom. You need the word of God inside of you. The word of God inside of you. Matthew 24 35. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word shall not pass away my god if you are rooted in the world nothing nothing battles will come mountains will come trials will come it will all phase out because your foundation is solid when your foundation is solid your foundation is solid nothing 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 moves it because you built it on the word of god you built it on the word of god you know what jesus was saying one time in matthew 24 matthew 7 rather from verse 24 25 26 down from 24, he says, Whosoever hear these sayings of mine and doeth them. It's like a wise man that built his house on the rock. These sayings of mine and doeth them. It's like a wise man that built his house on the rock. The rain descended, the flood came, all came, but the house was standing. The rain blew on it, beat upon that house. He said, But the house was standing. It fell not. Why? It was founded on the rock. Building your life on the world is building your life on the rock. The rain that descends, the wind that blows, the flood that comes, all of those are the troubles of human life. The battles of human life. They come and they go because you are solidly on the rock. So, I'm going to give you four scriptures that will be prophetic declarations and I want you to hold on to them Hold on to them firmly. In Genesis 49, verse 19, the Bible says, God, a troop shall overcome him, but he shall overcome at the last. Jacob was talking to his sons and telling them what shall happen at time, the latter part of their life. And Jacob got to God and said, God, a troop shall overcome him, but he shall overcome at the last. I don't know what has overcome you right now, 
but I decree you shall overcome at the last. Amen. Touch the light button now. I say you shall overcome at the last. Amen. I don't know what has over, what has overcome you now. If your amen is louder, you are the one I'm talking to. Amen. You shall overcome at the last. Amen. You shall overcome at the last. Amen. If you understand Mark chapter five, from verse one, Jesus entered into the city of the Gadarenes. The Gadarenes are the descendants of God. That prayer that Jacob prayed over God. In Genesis 49, 19, is what manifested in Mark chapter 5. Jacob has seen ahead that there will be a descendant from God that will be held and bound by a troop, which is a legion. He saw it ahead of time and make declaration and put a cover on that seed. Meaning you shall overcome at the last. Amen. When Jesus got to that city of the Galilee, he saw a man this man was bound by demons. The man was living in the tombs and cutting himself. A troop overcame him. People used that man as a resort. He became a tourist as a attraction. They bound him with fetters. He plucked it. He cut the fetters, broke it in sunder. Why? Because he was overcome by a troop. When Jesus came, he casted out the devil. The Bible said the man came to his right mind. If I were to ask the demon, how many are ye? What is your name? He said, we are many. My name is Legion. We are many. We just decided to give you a name that you should you understand. We are many. We are a troop. Whatever name you call us, if we start giving a road call, if we start calling our name one after the other, you won't leave this place today. So let's save your time, master. We are many. Is it poverty? Is there. Is this spirit of delay? Is there. Is it hardship? Is there. Is this setback? Is there. Is it frustration? Is there. We are many. And Jesus said, come out of the man, thou unclean spirit. The Bible says, it came to his right mind. Meaning that prophecy that Jacob saw, that a troop shall overcome someone from the tribe of the Gadarenes. He said, but it shall overcome at the last. I prophesy. I receive it. As you hear the sound of my voice today, I it. it doesn't matter what has risen up against you. You shall overcome at the last. Amen. You shall overcome at the last. Amen. Battles are real. Can I say this to you? Your friends don't open you up to destiny. Your enemies do. It's the duty of enemies to open you up to destiny. It is en enemies that brings out your eminence. Actually, people you call your enemies, God calls them your friends. Because God knows that they usher you. Let me give you an instance. Peter was that person that always had Jesus' back. Was always there for Jesus, had his back. Would defend him. He brought out a sword one time and cut off the ear of the servant of Malchus. Yet one time Jesus looked at Peter and said, Satan, get thee behind me, Satan. That's what he called his friends. But when Judas came to betray Jesus and he saw Peter, Judas coming with the troop, he said to Judas, friend, that which you want to do, do it quickly. Doesn't that amaze you? Somebody should have called a friend, they called the person Satan. Someone should have called an enemy, called the person friend. Your enemies help you assess destiny. Without battles, you won't pray. Penina was that one that God used to provoke Hannah. Penina made a prayer warrior out of Hannah. Hannah never knew how to fast. It was Penina that provoked her too. Hannah never knew how to pray. Penina provoked her too. I prophesy on you. I no this. matter the truth that has overcome you now, you will overcome at the last. Yeah. Yeah. The battles of your life will not see your end. Yeah. Yeah. You will see their end. Yeah. Yeah. The battles of your life will not see your end. Yeah. 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 You will see their end. Yeah. 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 Bragga, 
In Joel chapter 2 and verse 25, God was giving a prophetic word on the end time. I will restore unto you all the years that the locust has eaten, the canker worm, the caterpillar, the palmer worm, my great army which I sent among you. I will restore yeah. all the years. All the years. Yeah. Yeah. The ministry of the caterpillar, the canker worm, the locust, and the palmer worm is to eat years. The assignment is to eat years. When the man begins to struggle under the platform of delay, that man is a victim of the palmer worm, the canker worm, the locust, and the caterpillar. When a man begins to spend time in delay, what would have taken him one year is taking him 10 years. What would have taken him two years is taking him 15 years. That man is a victim of the canker worm, the palmer worm, the caterpillar, and the locust. God said, I will restore ye the years. Amen. I will restore the years. Amen. You say, my apostle, I have wasted so much years. Today, God restore your years. Amen. Touch the like button and share, share. Touch the like button. Touch the like button to show that you are in agreement with this prayer. Oh my God. 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 I saw something in the realm of the spirit now. I saw something. I saw something. I saw pictures in a very funny building. And somebody was watching over them. I saw pictures, photos, photographs in a very funny looking building. And somebody was watching like placing surveillance over them. Wherever your photos have been taken to, submitted, consciously, unconsciously, you are aware, you are not aware or anything that's a representative of you that has been dropped somewhere in the name of Jesus let fire blast yeah. Yeah. let fire blast 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 in the name of Jesus Something is happening now. Yeah, in the realm of the spirit. Yeah, Something is happening now. Yeah, God is setting their kingdoms on fire. Yeah, setting their kingdoms on fire. Yeah, in the name of Jesus. Yeah, All your wasted years are restored. Yeah, Type it now. Restore my wasted years. Yeah, Restore my wasted years. Yeah, Type it now. Restore my wasted years. Yeah, Hashtag one. That's without number. Restore my wasted years. Yeah. Yeah. Restore my wasted years. Yeah. Yeah. Type it right now. Type it. Restore my wasted years. Yeah. Yeah. Restore my wasted years. Yeah. 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 Restore my wasted years. Yeah. 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 Type it now. On your WhatsApp story. Type it now. On all your platforms. 
store my wasted years. Yeah, man. Oh, the angels of God see it and attend to it. Yeah, man. Oh, sit and sit and go mad. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Store my wasted years. 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 Yeah, yeah, man. Get ready right now because God is about to do something. Amen. Hope you got your oil ready because we are going to be anointing. I told you every first two days of the month of, the, of this platform, we anoint. We anoint. We'll do that today, we'll do that tomorrow. We anoint ourselves to say, all the blessings in, in, in the new month, I receive them. Yeah, all the intention and plans of God for me this new month, I receive it. Yeah, right now, right now, right now. Restore my wasted years. Yeah, I declare your wasted years are restored. Man, tora ba kasile, bonta la rasha la brakata. Let the kusu brakata kusha kaya. Sabatu la brakata kusha kaya. Kupa kusu sa la brakata. 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 Touch the like button and share, 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 share. In Galatians chapter 5 and verse 10, Paul said to the Galatian church, I have confidence in you through the Lord, that ye will be none otherwise minded, but he that troubled thee shall bear the judgment whosoever he be. Amen. He that troubled you shall bear the judgment. Amen. Amen. That is not loud. He that troubled you shall bear the judgment. Amen. He that troubled you shall bear his judgment. Amen. God will judge those that trouble your life. Amen. He said, whosoever he be, whether he hides on the clover of darkness, whether he hides on the clover of familiarity, whether he hides on the clover of being a blood relative, 
whether he hides on the clover of being someone close to you. He said, He that troubled thee, I decree today I and for everyone hearing the sound of my voice, God will blow the cover of the wicked men around you. Yeah. God will blow the cover of the wicked men around you. Yeah. They have been hiding under darkness. God will blow their cover. Yeah. Heaven will blow their cover. Yeah. God will blow their cover. Yeah. God will blow their cover. Yeah. Will blow their cover. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. He says, he be not otherwise minded. He said, but he that troubles you shall bear his judgment. Amen. Whosoever he be. Amen. I decree. Amen. Amen. God will trouble your troubler. Amen. God will trouble your troubler. Amen. Amen. That's what God does. One man, <laughs> one man was by a pool called Bethesda. He was having trouble in his body. In John chapter 5. He was having trouble in his body, challenging his body. The Bible said the angel of the Lord came at a certain season to trouble the water. To trouble the water. Whosoever falls into the water is made whole. Whosoever goes into the water with his trouble is made whole. Yet the angel came to trouble what was troubling them. I decree God will trouble your trouble. Yeah. Yeah. God will trouble your trouble. Yeah. God will trouble your trouble. Yeah. Yeah. How can a man have trouble in his body? What the angel came to do was to trouble. God will reply your enemies on the same language and the same pattern, the same volume with which they have thrown arrows at you. Yeah. Yeah. The same thing they've done to you, God will reply them. Yeah. Yeah. On the same breath, on the same vein, yeah, with the same aggression, yeah, in the name of Jesus. Yeah, yeah, in Psalm 118 verse 17, David said, I shall not die, Amen. but live to declare the works of the Lord. Yeah, no, you shall not die. Yeah, yeah, man. Every platform, every strategy, every foothold, of premature death, whether through family pattern, whether through mistakes, whether through carelessness, whether through iniquity, whether through the part of your past, whether through the part of evil projection, whether through evil manipulation, whether through the luring, the snare, the trap of a friend, I decree you shall not die. Yeah. Yeah. By air, by sea, or by land, you shall not die. Yeah. Yeah. Poisoned by gun or by arrows, you shall not die. Yeah. 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 But what you shall live to fulfill Amen. the works of the Lord. Yeah. Yeah. I will live to declare the works of the Lord. Type that down. I will live to declare the works of the Lord. Yeah. 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 Type it down now. I will live to declare the works of the Lord. Yeah. Yeah. I will live to declare the works of the Lord. Yeah. Yeah. Type it now. Type it down. You will live to declare the works of the Lord. Type, yeah. it. Yeah. Type it. I will live to declare the work. Just write that down now. Hashtag one dash without number. On your platform. On your WhatsApp story. I shall live. I will live to yeah. declare yeah. the yeah. works of of the Lord. Yeah, man. Man. That shall be your portion. Yeah, oh, first it was fragrance, and it turned to fire. My worship is my weapon. This is how we win my battles. First it was fragrance, and it turned to fire. My worship is my weapon. This is how we my battles. First it was fragrance, and it turned to fire. My worship is my weapon. This is how we my battles. The fragrance of my worship. Rose up to the Father, lightning, thunders, lights quick. Where the response to my worship, the fragrance of my worship, rose up to the Father, 
Noises, thunder, lightnings Were the response to my worship The fragrance of my worship Rose up to the Father Noises, thunder, lightnings Were the response to my worship The fragrance of my worship Rose up to the Father Noises, thunder, lightnings Were the response to my worship Cause it was fragrance And it turned to fire My worship is my weapon This is how we my battles First it was fragrance Then it turned to fire my worship is my weapon this is how we my battles first it was fragrance and it turned to fire my worship is my weapon this is how we my battles first it was fragrance and it turned to fire my worship is my weapon this is how we my battles first it was fragrance and it turned to fire my worship is my weapon this is how we my battles this is how we win win this is how we win this is our win, win, win. This is our win. This is our win, win, win. This is our win. This is our win, win, win. This is our win. That's our win, win, win. This is our win. This is our win, win, win. This is our win. The smoke of my worship released upon the earth. The smoke of my worship released upon the earth. You can't assess the presence of the Lord without worship. You can't. In 2 Kings chapter 7, we read verse 3. That's our prayer strength for today. 2 Kings, please touch the, touch the like button and begin to share. We're going to pray right now. Because there's a man to pray. Yes. 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 2 Kings chapter 7 and verse 3. He says, and there were four leprous men at the entering of the gates. And they said one to another, why sit we here until we die? Sometimes in life, when you go through battles, it's very important you know why. When you go through mountains, the first thing you must ask and inquire of the Lord is why. Nothing gives you solidity and confidence and rest like when you understand why. The reason so many believers are weeping in the midst of battles is because they don't know why. When you know why, you have rest. When you know why, you understand why, you are at peace. There were four leprous men, and we know from scriptures that everyone who was a leper in those days, they had a, a colony, a settlement. They were thrown outside the camp of Israel, and they kept them there. They would send their meals to them there. They would do all they want to do for them outside the camp. So these four leprous men were together. The first thing I want you to know is that no matter what you are going through, somebody else is going through the same thing, or even worse. There will be four leprous men. Not one, not two, four. I understand that someone is going through the same thing. You are not the worst of yourself. You are not the worst in life. Someone is going through the same battle. Even more, even worse. The Bible says there are four leprous men at the entrance of the gates of the city. They said one to another, why? Why has all this befallen us? Prior to this time, the latter verse of chapter 6 
there was an outburst because women were boiling and eating their child. They were eating their own children because of famine. Famine. As far as I'm concerned, that was poverty-induced witchcraft. That was poverty-induced witchcraft. Some people became witches by force, by poverty. And the Bible says because of that, the king got offended. The king got angry. And the king said, God do more so to me. If the head of Elijah, what did Elijah do? He was not the minister of economy. He was not the minister of finance. He was not the minister of agriculture. The king said, God do more so to me if the head of Elijah does not leave his head today. I will cut off Elijah's head. Why did the king say that? The king knew that spiritually, the economy of that land dwelt in the hand of the prophet. In other words, he was saying, that, what is Elisha's anointing for? And what is his anointing for? Today, I will cut off his head because his anointing is a waste. When ministers of God understand that they owe the key to the economy of nations, and when nations place such demand on them, ministers will, become re ministers will, will stop being reckless. Ministers will become aggressive and productive and pray prayerful. When somebody can say, I'm going to see you today. My pastor will tell me why I'm not married. My pastor will tell me, that's by my faithfulness to the Lord. When you know how to place such demand, answers come. You put them on the spot for them to start asking God questions. The Bible says that Elisha gave a prophecy. In verse 1 of 2 Kings chapter 7, by this time tomorrow. By this time tomorrow. I decree upon somebody hearing the sound of my voice. I receive. I receive. By this time tomorrow, things will change. Yeah. By this time tomorrow, things will change. Yeah. By this time tomorrow, things will change. Yeah. By this time tomorrow, your life will turn around. Yeah. By this time tomorrow, God will give you a testimony. Yeah. So it was that prophetic destiny. That was the first reason why. Why are you going through this? To fulfill a prophetic destiny. Do you know there's a prophetic destiny for your life? There's something that was said before you were born. There's something that was spoken before you were formed. I receive grace to fulfill my prophetic destiny. Amen. That's going to be your prayer this morning. I receive grace. Before you were born, something was said. What has been a failure? What's the definition of a failure? Someone that is living outside of his prophetic destiny. Someone that is living at par is prophetic destiny. Someone that is living contrary is prophetic destiny. What is greatness? Walking in line in tandem with your prophetic destiny. Walking in synchrony, in semblance with your prophetic destiny. That is greatness. You lift up your voice. I receive grace. Amen. to fulfill my prophetic destiny Amen. a whole nation was under siege but God used the lepers to help the nation meaning they became the answer to the generational questions the answer to the family question the answer to the national question the second prayer you pray Lord make me the answer to the question of my generation Amen. make me the answer to the question of my generation Amen. now the generation is asking where, where is God if God is powerful why is this happening to me if God is powerful why am I going through this where is God that you become the answer to the question of your generation. Amen. Amen. Now say after me, say, My father, my father. My father, my father. Shout it loud and clear. My father, my father. Let the enemies hear your voice. My father, my father. In the name of Jesus. Now we're going to say, Jesus. Now begin to pray. Now that we're going to pray. Receive grace. To receive a grace. To fulfill my prophetic destiny. To fulfill my destiny. To receive grace. To receive a grace. To fulfill my prophetic destiny. To fulfill my destiny. To receive grace. To receive a grace. To fulfill my Prophetic death. Walk up in my face. Let your mouth and fire prayers right now. Shut up, 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 shut up
Shut 
in the name of Jesus. Somebody say, my father, my father. My father. In the name of Jesus, as long as you I begin to pray, make me the answer to the question of my generation. 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 The answer. Make me 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 the questions of my generation. The question of my generation. The answer. Make me the answer. Make me the answer. Make me the questions of my generation. La pression de ma génération. Yeah, 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 yeah
Connect your faith to my faith. I connect. I connect. Wherever you hear the sound of my voice, I make a declaration on your life that every nonsense in your life stops this month. Amen. I speak over your life. I receive. I receive. By the power of the Holy Ghost. That from today you are enabled. You are empowered. Amen. You work in your prophetic destiny. Amen. That which was spoken before you were born over you, concerning you, about you, begin to work in the fulfillment. Amen. Begin to work in the fulfillment. Amen. Have you not heard? Have you not known that the everlasting God, the creator of the ends of the earth, neither fainted nor is he weary? For there's no searching to his understanding. He giveth power to the friend, the young man may fall, the youth may utterly fail. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not do weary. They shall walk and they shall not faint. I decree upon your life from my mouth to God's ears. In the mighty name of Jesus, work in your prophetic destiny. Any force of power, any spirit of force that wants to manipulate you out of the spoken word before your predestination, out of the spoken word over your life before you were born and formed in your mother's womb, I decree that power lose your home. I speak to that power, lose your home. In the name of Jesus. Someone is watching from America. The doctors told you to go home. Prepare. Because you will surely die. That's what the doctors told you. But God has sent me today to reverse it. He said I should reverse. Amen. You shall live and not die. Amen. After three days, go back to the same doctor. Tell them to take you through the same process of test. Do all the checks again. The Egyptians you saw before, you will see them no more. Amen. The symptoms you saw before, you will see them no more. Amen. I'm seeing somebody by the name of Lewis. Lewis. The hand of the Lord is falling mightily upon you. Yeah. I decree that you become the answer to the questions of your generation. Yeah. The generation is looking for a savior, looking for a helper, looking for someone that God has blessed to bless them. Asking God, when will God send the helper to them? God will so bless you Amen. that you become the helpers they are looking for. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. There's a woman holding a land document. There is a controversy over the land. Someone has taken and encroached on what is yours. But right now, all those who ganged up to do this, they will begin to fight themselves. Amen. Amen. They will begin to fight themselves. Amen. Amen. I'm seeing a fan. Is a fan fall on someone and God just delivered you from that attack. Amen. Amen. The intention of the enemy is to make a fan fall on you. But God just delivered you from that attack. Amen. Amen. Right where you are. That's your vehicle that breaks down and has taken so much money from you. It has now become a, a, a demonic tool. A demonic strategy rather. To siphon money from you. Today that demonic satanic loophole is sealed. Amen. Amen. I pray for someone by the name of Dennis Atwa. Dennis Atwa. The Lord is saying, I should tell you. The kingdoms of marine, the marine world, have strategized that you live in perpetual penury, pain, and debt. But the Lord has overturned it. Amen. I'm seeing a name, a letter D, this is Davina, but I'm seeing the last full name, Brooks, Brooks, B-R-O-O-K-S. I saw an evil garment covering your face. Those who should favor you never see you because there's an evil covering on your face right now. It catches fire. Amen. Amen. Don't forget the prophecy for one is a prophecy for all. Jesus said what I say to one, I say to all. I decree receive your own testimony. Amen. Amen. 
In the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. Is your left hand where you are hurting? Mettez la main là vous avez des problèmes. Where you have a problem. Là vous avez des défis. The symptom of that attack. Les symptômes des attaques. And stretch the other hand. Et tendez l'autre main. I command. Je commande. Disease in your body. Les maladies Out. dans votre corps. Your blood. Out. In your bone, Out. Out. your skin, Out. Out. your tissues, Out. Out. your tendons, Out. Out. your ligaments, Out. Out. your sinews. sinews. Come out in the name of Jesus. Yeah. 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 AIDS. AIDS. Out. HIV AIDS. Out. 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 God heal somebody now. Yeah. Someone has a stammering tongue. You stutter. God is healing you now. I come against every infirmity. infirmity. From your head to your toe. Be healed in the name of Jesus. You are free. Amen. Carry your babies. Amen. Carry your children. Amen. Carry your children. Amen. Carry your babies. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Dans le nom Amen. Jesus. Amen. 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 This nonsense must stop. Amen. Amen. Hear these testimonies. As we take these testimonies, yours will be the next. Amen. Open up your faith. For the same testimony. Amen. After the testimonies, I will anoint you and I will bless our request. Get your anointing oil ready. Good morning, Papa. I would like to thank God for doing exceeding abundantly in my life. I have sent the 2022 prayer request and they have come to pass. I recently got into college with full scholarship. Please don't go away. I'm going to be anointed. We are going to be anointing ourselves for the month. Don't go away. After the testimonies, who anoint ourselves for the month, make declaration, do that today and tomorrow. Secondly, I got promoted to being a leader in a program at my school. Thank you, Jesus. My time has come, Sister Chi. Good morning, Papa. Since I joined Wonders with our number, I'll be receiving favor, miracle, money, and resource in other dimensions. And God is enlarging my course and ministry. Thank you, Jesus. My time has come. Chica Sam from Cyprus. Good morning, Papa. I thank God, I thank the God of wonders with our number. The month of April 2022, my boss increased my salary. Also in April, I received miracle money for over 50,000. Above all, my relationship with God and my love for Jesus has increased tremendously. Thank you, Jesus. My time has come. Innocent from Anambra State. My name is Ernestine from Cameroon. I thank God for healing me from stroke. During wonders with our number, my younger brother Pascal who lives in Italy, was attacked by a stroke, which left him paralyzed on one side of his face. He couldn't talk, eat, or close his one eye. When you were praying for the sick, I kept calling his name for healing. Papa is healed and can speak now. Thank you, Jesus. My time has come. Good morning, Papa. I dropped a seed for the studio project. At, at, at that same time, I got a job offer. The following, a job offer. The following day, someone gave me the exact money I sold. I received a tip that covers my transportation for the month. Thank you, Jesus. My time has come. Blessing from Abuja. Good morning, Papa. I want to testify of the goodness of God in my life. As prayer was going on, you prophesied and mentioned three things. That's been my issue. Talking about rib problem, ulcer, and knee problem. I shouted amen. And I was healed immediately. Thank you, Jesus. My time has come. Promise from Enugu. Good morning, Pap. I want to thank God for his greatness upon my life and family. On April 7th, I sent a prayer request concerning my mom for God to restore her job. She lost her job due to COVID-19. And just a few days after the prayer request, I sent a text that she has been called back to work. I'm excited. Thank you, Jesus. Our time has come. Melvin from Delta State. Good morning, Papa. I joined this platform in February. And my family and our lives have changed. Our financial situation has changed. I wrote a prayer request concerning my 11-year-old child who was bedwetting. We tried medication to help her, but she couldn't stop. She didn't stop. But since I have joined this platform, my guest stopped bedwetting. Thank you, Jesus. My time has come. Good morning, Papa. Last year, October, in my place of work, some people conspired against me, but the table turned in my favor. Two of my colleagues involved we are sacked and i was exonerated at the panel this was after we prayed a prayer on wonders without number oh lord show me the secret of my problems thank you jesus my time has come solomon ajide the final testimony for today 
Good morning, Papa. I want to testify of God's continuous goodness and mercy upon me and my family. I joined one that's without number since July 2021. I have not lacked money. God has been using my children, my family members to favor and sustain me. My mother was paid a retirement entitlement beyond what she requested and applied for. Thank you, Jesus. My time has come. Agnes from Abuja. What a God we serve. Amen. We give God all the glory. Amen. Amen. Right now, I bless your oil. Amen. I decree testimonies. Amen. Let this oil become testimony oil. Amen. Amen. Let it work miracles and healing. Amen. Amen. Let it bring preservation. Amen. Amen. Signs and wonders. Amen. Amen. Let it be the beginning of a new thing. Amen. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Right now, anoint yourself and decree the things you want. Moka pariga zagata. I decree increase. Amen. Enlargement. Amen. Favors. Amen. Testimonies. Amen. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Right now. We pray on the request. Amen. Amen. I decree answers. Amen. The Lord grant your desires. Amen. The Lord grant these desires. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. This, is, this is important that you send me your prayer request today. I want to pray for you. I decree miracle money. Amen. May God give you Help us. Hey, see the pay rise where you were. Hey, Everyone that has promised to help you financially, they will be prompted by God to fulfill their promise hey, today. Hey, receive a better job. Hey, I decree angels deposit money in your account. Hey, Miracle money. Hey, Jesus name. Hey, Send me a testimony today. Send me a testimony today. The email address is now being scrolled. Send me a prayer request and a testimony. Do very well to send me a video testimony. It's important. Mark chapter 8. He that is not ashamed of me before men, I will not be ashamed of him. You put a seal on your testimony when you do that. Tell us how this program has been a blessing to you. I'm eager to personally hear your testimony. In the name of Jesus. Amen. It's Amen. a new week. It's a great week for you. Amen. Amen. Rise, shine, the light is come. Amen. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Join the patron right now and become a partner with wonders without number. Don't you forget, I'll see you tomorrow. And to then always remember, if there's a man to pray, there's a God to answer. Somebody say, my time has come. My, my time, time has come. come. I'll see you tomorrow by the grace of God. Amen. God bless you. Amen. Amen. Good morning, Papa. Good morning, Wonder with us, number family. My time has come. My name is Sister Dora from Omega Fire Ministry, Bata, Equatorial Guinea. I want to thank God, the God of Wonder with that number, what He has been doing in my life. Since I start following Wonder with that number, since they started my life, my spiritual life has changed. I thank God for that. My second testimony is that in day 12, in August edition of Wonder with that number, that did locate me. He said there is a lady you have been fighting for your work to lose to lose work. And I thump into it. I say amen because that was my case. And he said you will start losing work. I say amen. But the next day I start losing losing work. I'm fine now. And everything is going well. I thank God for that. My second testimony is that in Saturday, I start feeling a very sharp pain in my eyes that I can't even open my eyes. Uh, I can't even open my eyes. I can't do everything I slept off. In the morning, the case was worse. I say, oh God, how am I going to go to church today? How am I going to interpret the word of God that people will hear me? How am I going to do because I can't even see with that eyes? And that same Sunday morning, Wonder With That Number, that he locate me, he said, somebody have a pain in her eyes, a growth into her eyes, because the thing was like something is inside my eyes. I put my, 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 my hands, daddy pray, and then after that, the thing disappeared immediately. I entered my bathroom, I bathed, and I went to church that day. I want to thank God. Thank you, daddy. Thank you, Jesus. My time has come. Good afternoon, Papa. I'm Prudencia from Dubai. I want to thank God for this program, Wonders Without Number. 
Last month, I submitted a prayer request on behalf of my elder sister who was diagnosed of bilateral tubal blockage. Papa, to the glory of God, she was the doctor advised her to do the second test, which she did this month, and she received her result yesterday, the 21st of August, and the result was bilateral tubal patency, meaning both tubes are open. This can only be God. Indeed, if there is a man to pray, there is a God to answer. If there is a woman to pray, there is a God to answer. I've come to give the testimony to glorify God and to put the enemy to shame. I thank God for prayers answered. Thank you, Jesus, for my time has come. My family time has come. Those that believe in their prophets, I believe our time has come. Thank you, Jesus. Morning, my name is Pastor Joel Akindi, based in Abuja. Name of my ministry is Live Embassy Worldwide. Uh, I really want to appreciate God for wonders without numbers. And uh, what God has been doing since I started following the prayer, it has really been from glory to glory. Um, there was a particular time just a few months back, I, I was having a challenge with um, our resident where we do ministry, where we hold ministry, because we're not having our own personal space. So I texted Papa and I saw the, a seed, a certain amount of seed, and connected to Wonders Without Numbers, replied the text message and says, God grant you your request. And after that message, it wasn't up to a month, the Lord did it. Now we have a space in the ministry. We have built the ministry within the space of a month. God did it amazingly. And I've been receiving a lot of testimonies um, concerning miracle money from outside the country and in Nigeria. I've been receiving a lot, lot of miracle money testimony, lots of it. People do bless me when I'm not expecting it. I've seen money several times in my account, calling his sent it. And before it will be a while, the person will now say I'm the one. So I really want to appreciate God for what he has done. And also there was a prophetic word Papa gave in this August edition about an explosion, a gas explosion, that he's seen a gas explosion. Um, I think that was yesterday. My wife was in the kitchen cooking and all of a sudden the gas exploded. But to our greatest surprise, because during that period when Papa prayed, he says the, 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 the explosion is canceled. The thing shaked the whole building, but to the glory of God, the fire did not touch her. The fire did not destroy the gas. Everything was just came back to normal. So I really want to appreciate God for what he has done. May God bless you, Papa, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Greetings, Papa. I am Isabel, Pastor Isabel from Cameroon, Bamenda. I want to thank you, man of God. Your ministration has really blessed me so much. Wonders Without Numbers is Wonders Without Numbers indeed. I started following you on Celebration TV uh, in 2020 when my spiritual father, Apostle Akon Golov recommended that I start following you on uh, Celebration TV. It has been awesome. It has been wonderful. It has been mind blowing. You know, I, I just I don't just know where to start. I started following you wonders for that number from inception, and I've been having testimonies upon testimonies. You know, before then I have been trying to start up a prayer cell. I didn't even know where to start it or the location or I didn't even have the money to even rent and a, a place or a room but god and i've been like going out for evangelism serious evangelism i'll go and win souls the day of the the, the the prayer cell will come nobody will show up some will call me and tell me that they have i don't want to thank me for preaching to them they have decided to fellowship there and there bless god i kept on like that and it was not successful until when i started uh, on July edition, during the July edition, when you say we should go back where we are rejected, I actually uh, 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 started on that July, and it it, it went wonder, it went well. Uh, my landlord offered me 
his parlor you see the house down below here for the prayer cell and this august i decided to start the second one somewhere in another location and the testimonies they have been mind-blowing man of god you won't believe it instant testimony miracles in short there has been from one testimony to the other i sent a prayer request about my spiritual father that god's hand should be might upon him and that the ministry should expand you know he himself is testifying man of god on the 15th of august 2021 when you were uh, ministering on a dealing with stagnation part two power of god hit me right in my room it was so in short powerful oh my god i can't really say it is too much and we are praying and looking forward to the day that i and my spiritual father will meet you one on one man of god i can't say it all it is too much it is too much it is too much in short the god of wonders without number is is a god of wonders without number indeed our time has come life Yes. For 31 years. 31 years. This is the first 31 time. years. She's walking. 31 years. Amen. Believing God for a baby. Two babies, not just one. That's what it is. He was blind. Yeah. For 31 years. 31 years. This is the first 31 years. She's walking 31 years. Amen. Believing God for a baby. Two babies, not just one. That's what what it is. He was blind. He I want to return all the glory to God for what he has done for me. My name is Pastor Joshua from Ghana. Uh, one morning, my son just woke up and started complaining uh, sick. We took him to the hospital, and the doctor said it was asthma. I rejected it at the first point. I rejected it because it was not the word of God for me. And secondly, because such a thing is not in my family. And I knew that it was an attack from the devil against my family. But during the, the August audition of Wonders Without Number, I think on the 30th, I guess, whilst Papa was ministering, Papa said that uh, Papa just spoke and said, Asthma is living, God is destroying and taking away asthma. From that day, God healed my son and took away asthma and that attack from the devil. Uh, my second testimony is that my family they used we used to have this thing like itchings on our body very severe chronic itching but during one of during that same day whilst papa was ministering papa said that that itchings you have been feeling on your body that severe itching it is gone god has taken it away it is destroyed and that day i was having that severe itchings on my body and it stopped as papa gave the word and from that day I have not experienced it again. And I know that the God of Apostle John C. Suleiman, the God of wonders without numbers, has delivered me and my family. And so I want to return all the glory to God and to thank you so much, Papa, and thank you so much, Mama, and all the team that are behind you. God richly bless you. My time has come. Hallelujah. My name is Pastor Favor, Pastor Mrs. Favor, and it's where. I want to thank the Lord for his goodness, the God of wonders without number, the God of my father, Apostle John C. Suleiman. And I want to thank my father for his tireless effort to see that things work out well for us. I want to thank God for this program that has brought joy to us. Now, my testimony goes to us. When we came to this place, we did not have any place. We started service in our home. Our parlor was getting small. We needed land. Ah, we had to pray. We embarked in prayers. God directed my husband a place through one man. And when the man uh, he got there, he took the number of the owner of the land. is a woman. And the woman doesn't live in the same region with us. She had to travel. She asked us to send her transport to come and meet us. So why come here? We didn't know she has contacted other people to sell the land. So she came here. She came with five different people. Bank owners. Others, other people that had money. Much money to come and buy the land. 
So when they came, it was an issue. But before then, we had one assurance. I had seen my father in the Lord in a dream. I met with him. And he was in a workshop. That is how I always meet him, either in the workshop or he's impacting people. So when I met with him, I said, Papa, where is Mama? He said, Mama is coming. Mama is also busy. So one thing he told me, he said, you push should go and take the land, pay for the land and go and be in service, hold in service day. I had this assurance. I woke up and told my husband that Papa said we should go and take that land. I'm sure the house, that place is our own. So when does this boy drag him up and down, pulling, pulling, pulling? I had one assurance that God has told me through my father and the Lord that that place is our own, that we will have it. So when those people came, they were coming to they were coming with their money we don't blame them they were coming and the woman also wanted money she wants to send her children to school and all they like finally after the dragging here and there he finally came and told my pastor that don't bother pastor who will give us who will give you the place because he came with she came with her brother and her brother was saying that he wants her to sell the lamb that she said the lamb but later on the brother said okay pastor you push you go and sleep night has a lot of things to produce let us see whether tomorrow we'll give you the land or we'll sell it so he told everybody to go the next day they were dragging dragging say 1 p.m finally finally god made it possible he told my husband pastor come they called him on phone after they had i don't know what happened with the other people he said pastor come bring your id bring it the contract let us sign it they sign it and they sign it he said okay we pay the money, 120,000 save for six months. This is really God. It is only the God of wonders that nobody can do this. That is the money we had at hand. We do not have any other money. They refused six million, they refused other money, and they took 120,000 save for six months. Papa, we thank God for your obedience to the voice of the Lord. Uh, since I started to listen, following the wonders with a number, when I heard them, the miracle, miracle money are late. I decided to put my ATM card on the on the TV, and uh, since then, people that I don't know, those people that I could only help me when I when I ask them, they've been sending money. Sometimes I get the money late with a notification donation. I don't know the persons. May the good Lord continue to bless you, Papa. And uh, the last one, I got, uh, I got, I got the money from a person who had promised me three years ago that she wanted to give me the money, but the money she has put it on a life insurance. So blessed, highly favored. Status changed, battles won. I've got the victory you overcame. This is my set time, and I know I'll proclaim. This is my season. There is nothing that the devil can do about it. Hope, oh, ready to win. My time has come. I'm a champion Christ did it all for me in victory Battles won, a time has come This is my season There is nothing that the devil can do about it Hope, oh, ready to win, my time has come I'm a champion Christ did it all for me in victory Battles won, a time has come This is my season There is nothing that the devil can do about it Hope, oh, ready to win, a time has come I'm a champion Christ did it all for me in victory Battles won, a time has come We are destined to win We are highly favored We are miracles, my time has come We are destined to win We are highly favored 
Summertime.